Hi and welcome to my channel Fantastic 50s. Today as you can see I'm again in my Portuguese garden and now that we've put lots of plants in we decided it's time to irrigate so this video is going to be all about how we put our irrigation in. If you're new to this channel, Fantastic 50s, my name is Claire Bendel and welcome. So I'm going to give you a couple of hints and tips that me and Mark learned along the way. How to do irrigation if you're by yourself, how to measure and also the best ways to pin the irrigation down. And we've learned a lot about pressure and we had to put in some little taps so you can switch every individual irrigation pipe on and off. Fantastic. Please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And then click the notification bell and press all. Cuthbert. He's talking to the chicken up the road, you know. And, and the cockerel answers him. And you, you can't hear that. There's, an, there's another one down the road saying, hello Cuthbert. Cuthbert, be quiet, I'm trying to make a video. Oh, the joy of living in the beautiful countryside. This video is all about irrigation. So we're going to start at the beginning of the irrigation point. We can irrigate our land for free with this beautiful water well. This is the tap that comes from the well and this is the start of the irrigation. Pop it on and follow me. From the water well, we follow the pipe all the way. To this filter. So the pipe from the well comes onto this filter. Now our water, you can't drink it, but you can use it for washing, cleaning, everything else and irrigation. So the pipe fits onto this filter by a Jubilee clip and let me show you we've been watering for a few days. Let's see how filthy this filter has become. There are little tiny particles so you must use a filter on your irrigation pipe. So the water well pipe to the filter to the 15 mil irrigation then it moves onto our vines. Then I'm going to show you how we go from here all the way down to the veg patch. Because we have grapevines running down the side of our garden, we can tie the irrigation pipe to the grapevines and water the new ones. We plant new grapevines every year because old ones die and they need to be replaced. New grapevines need a lot of water for the first three years. So having irrigation is going to be great for them. Mark has built new wooden climbers for the peas and tomatoes. I have to measure how long the irrigation pipe has to be. 11 meters, 40 centimeters. If you're trying to do irrigation by yourself, I've just got a handy tip. Get a large piece, 25 mil of pipe, cut it off in a little segment, get your 15 mil irrigation and a tent peg. Pop your larger tube over your smaller, pop your tent peg into the irrigation, fold it over, then slide your larger tube over your smaller one. Now you can pop this in the ground. Place your tank measure next to the pipe and walk down until you reach your required measurement. 11 meters 40. So I have the piece of tube we've just cut and I'm going to run it up to the top of the irrigation. The garden looks bare at the minute, but soon it'll be full of plants and looking fantastic. With the bottom end of the tube, 
just going to fold it over, pop that larger piece of pipe on and that stops the water coming out of the bottom of the tube. You need to measure the distance between your plants to put in a new pipe. Use that measurement so you'll know where to cut your main irrigation pipe. After you cut the main irrigation pipe, you're going to need to insert a T-bar. To do this, you have to use a blowtorch to heat up the main irrigation pipe. And here's another top tip. Please, please wear gloves because the pipe gets red hot and you will burn yourself when pushing the irrigation tubes together. Now you have the T-bar in place, you need to heat up the irrigation pipe that's going to run down to your plants and pop it onto the end of the T-bar. Because we have a large irrigation system, water pressure can drop. So we decided it would be a good idea to put some taps on each individual irrigation pipe so that you can turn them on and off when you want. To put these taps in, you just have to heat up the pipe again with a blowtorch like you did for the tea bar. But please remember to wear gloves. The pipe gets so hot and it's sticky and plastic and it can burn you. We need to make some holes for the water droppers. Now these droppers have a little tiny hole in them. You push them into the pipe and they're adjustable. So you turn them up for plants that need lots of water and then you turn them back down for plants that need very little water. It's a great idea and I love this irrigation stuff. I mean, I used to spend, me and my husband last year, 45 minutes each, because we do have a big garden. And sometimes the hose pipe wouldn't lead to all the plants. We had to do it with a watering can. And it's just too much in the sunshine on a night when all you want to do is sit and have a beer. So having irrigation in the garden is a fantastic idea. And I love it. Let's get on to popping a hole into the tube so we can put these in. To be able to make a hole in the pipe, Mark had to buy a special tool. Now you don't need to heat the pipe up for this, which is good, and you just push it in, pull it out, and out pops the little tiny bit of plastic. Pop this into the hole, make sure it's in tight, and just turn it on a little bit so we'll test it later. So Mark put the holes in, and I put the droppers in. We calculated that doing all this irrigation system took about eight hours, but every night it's going to save us about half an hour each. So that's an hour every night where we could be sitting down having a beer. When we first bought the irrigation, we bought these plastic things that are quite expensive, but we found that a tent peg can suffice. I'll show you, you have to put the temp peg in at an angle. Get your temp peg, place it in an angle right next to your pipe and bash it in. Simple. So Mark turns it on and it works. Now I don't have to water the leeks or our lovely little lettuce. And this year we've planted many carrots. We put one dropper between two carrots. The purple cabbage is growing very well this year. And the peas are just starting to shoot up. And last but definitely not least, we have bok choy. It's great to put in stir fries. Thanks for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and press all. Then next time I put a video on, you will get to see it first. Bye.